Hi, how are you? You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just on my break. Yeah? Hey, come here, will you? Got something to tell you, yeah? Christmas is coming, right? My Tories are getting fat again on all their lies, aren't they? Yeah? First it was Brexit, then it was dodgy COVID contracts, and then accepting money from lobbyists, you know, and then refugees dying in the channel and all that. And now, three Tory Christmas parties at Downing Street last year on lockdown. It's a scandal. They're laughing at us, you and me. But the North remembers, eh? Yeah, yeah, I never thought I'd live to see the day that I would say there's a worse Prime Minister than Maggie Thatcher the Milk Snatcher. But here we are, Boris the Clown Johnson can beat her hands down. I wish I could have beaten her hands down. Doesn't even need to rethink, reboot, reskill. He's already got the job, he doesn't even have to dress up, does he? No, don't suppose they have clowns at Christmas parties, do you? Do? No, you're right, it's children's parties, isn't it? Yeah. And Boris will be great at scaring the shit out of little kids. He probably scares the wits out of his own. Yeah. But to be fair, I don't think he would have organised those Christmas parties. Let's face it, he couldn't even organise his own Tory party, let alone a Tory party at the Christmas parties, eh? No, I reckon it was Dominic Cummings from home on his garden leave. Or could have been that slimy cave Michael Gove, I guess, because he likes to get on down and have a bit of a boogie, doesn't he? Yeah. You've got to hand it to him, though. It's rather fitting, isn't it, for this time of year? Do you know what I mean? Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister, trapped in his own Christmas carol, haunted by the ghosts of Christmas past, yeah? And the ghosts of Christmas present and future at Anton Deck, aren't they? Yeah? Who'd have thought they'd come a long way from Biker Grove to becoming the official opposition? Yeah. I know it's amazing, isn't it? But away the lads. Yeah. Holding the government to account. Because I don't see Sir Keir actually doing much about it, do you? What's that you say? You've resigned from the Labour Party. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, and you've joined that Northern Independence Party, right? Yeah, I might do the same, actually. You know, I don't know. Who's the leader of the Northern Independence Party, then? Who? Isn't it Proudfoot? Never heard of him. No, never heard of him. Who's he when he's at home? He sounds a bit like a character from Harry Potter. Like he should be leading a herbology class or... You know, looking after magical creatures and all that. Yeah. No, I think we need a leader who everybody knows. You know, to lead the North into independence. You know, Kingdom of the North and all that. So you need somebody who's instantly recognisable and has got a bit of charisma. You know, how about that lovely, you know, Daniel Craig? He's a Chester lad, you know, yeah. He's now out of work, no more James Bond. But, you know, he'd keep the Russians in their box, wouldn't he? He also wouldn't take any crap from those Americans either, no. Or, oh, I've got it. Or how about Sean Bean? He's from Sheffield, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah, Sheffield lads. Good bloke. Yeah, but the only thing with Sean is, you know, he just keeps getting himself killed off. No, you need longevity. That's what you need if we're going to be independent. It's got to be for the long haul, you know. Does it need to be a man? No, I suppose not in this day and age, does it? No, you're absolutely right there. 
I suppose when we're talking about people who've been around for a long time and yet still going strong. How about that Lisa Stansfield? I mean, we need a good anthem to cheer everybody up. What about people hold on? Yeah, quite timely that, isn't it? Yeah. Or I suppose another one we could have is that lovely Sarah Millican. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. I mean, we probably need to become bilingual. If we're an independent country, we'll have to do everything in subtitles in Geordie and then Scouts so that everybody can understand what we're going on about. Yeah, that's true. But I'll tell you something else, though. I mean, the one that's right there still in my heart, you know, and if he were still alive, it would be that John Lennon, you know, child of Liverpool. He was radical, he was passionate, he was for the people and of the people. And a visionary. I mean, really, really, you could just take a song, imagine, right? And that could be your manifesto for the whole country. Yeah, I know, I do miss him. Oh, he was he was special, weren't he? Yeah. Yeah, I like the others too. You know, I'm a big fan of the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, what's that you say? Oh, there's a film, mister. What's it called? Oh, Get Back. Oh, I. And who's the director? Oh, Peter Jackson. Yeah. Oh, he's the one that did Lord of the Rings, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, no, I remember. Oh, I'd like to see that film. Is it any good? Get back streaming on where? I didn't catch that. What do you say? Streaming on Disney? You're fucking joking, aren't you? Disney? Who does Peter Jackson think he is? Cinderella? Oh, my God. The Fab Four were working class lads from Liverpool. Not the fucking Seven Dwarfs. And Yoko Ono wasn't Snow White. I mean, she's far too radical for that. Yeah? Bloody hell. Streaming on Disney, George and John will be spinning in their graves. I tell you what, if I had Peter Jackson right here, I'd say, Peter, you know where you can get back to, don't you? Yeah, go on, bugger off back to Middle Earth and go and play in Mordor. An orc, an orc. My northern kingdom for an orc.